Hello again. I am Bane, and I'm out for a bike ride. Not so much an adventure today, just a bike ride. I've not been doing video of just my local bike rides, because I don't know how entertaining they are. But, I haven't gotten anything out in a month or so. So I wanted to toss something out and say hello. Toss out some updates. I'm a little bit late on my adventure trips, on my schedule. I got the new bike, the mountain bike that I mentioned before. I ordered some bags for it from the local bike shop and it's taken quite a while to get them. I still don't have them. And I'm waiting on them for my next trip. To be honest, I could have got them already had I ordered them myself online, but I'm trying to support the local bike shop. The bags I've ordered are actually a new product. So they're having issues getting them. But hopefully in a week, I'll have them. I'll be able to go on an adventure. I'm looking, I'm gonna bike into the Cranberry Wilderness and camp and bike around some of the forest service roads. The place is really beautiful. So I think that'll be fun. Anyways, I'm already blabbing. Today, I am biking through three states. Ohio, West Virginia, Kentucky, and back home to Ohio. I live in Southern Ohio. And when I say Southern Ohio, I mean pretty much the most Southern point you can get to. I'll actually be biking through South Point, Ohio today on the way home, the southernmost point of Ohio. It's quite windy. Follow along. So, the west end of Huntington is Old Central City, which is what I just rode through. I am riding towards Canova, West Virginia currently. Probably stop along the river and have lunch. before rolling into Kentucky and headed towards Ashland. I don't know if I've mentioned it before or not. I don't really consider myself a cyclist. I don't have like, like I don't really enjoy just cycling. I like to go somewhere. I like to be on an adventure go places I haven't been to. 
on a bike, car. On a bike is a great way to see things. You cover a good distance in a day, unlike hiking, but you're slow enough that you see a lot of stuff you wouldn't normally get to see. And apparently I enjoy that. But just out biking, I don't, don't really like it as much as a cyclist does. But I'm trying to force myself to come out and bike more just so I'm in better shape on my adventures. So if I'm forcing myself to bike at home, that's all I'm doing. Prepping for an adventure. So I bought this mountain bike with the intention of using it in places that the 520 doesn't really get to. And I thought, you know, I got a mountain bike now. I got a mountain bike now, so I should mountain bike. And mountain biking is not the same thing as bike touring. I realized real quickly my cardio is horrible. I've mountain biked three or four times, maybe an hour, hour and a half at the longest. And it's a, an actual workout, like it's, it's hard. I also discovered that I probably didn't need a mountain bike with a front shock what I should have done was got some sort of mountain bike with no front suspension. A rigid fork, I guess they call it. Because I think the, the, I think the big tires are gonna be good in the winter, Tom, and exploring forest service roads and things like that. But I'm not sure that I need suspension for that. But it's what I got, so my next adventure is probably going to be on the mountain bike if I get these dang bags in. Anyways, glad there's a fence there. Who's a good boy? They just want a good boy. That's it. Who's a good boy? He might have wanted to eat me. Anyways, on we go. Follow along. We're going to make something out of this.
Virginia Point Park. It is where the big sandy river that separates West Virginia and Kentucky meets the Ohio River, where the Ohio River separates Ohio from Kentucky and West Virginia, the tri-state area. I'll be crossing the Big Sandy River into Kentucky in just a moment, biking through Catlettsburg, Kentucky. I don't know if that's pronounced right, and I live here, at least close enough to here, that I biked here. Catlettsburg, Kentucky, between Catlettsburg and Ashland, here at Route 23, and it's not a very fun section of this trip. It's busy. It's busy. Lots of traffic. Anyways, on we go into Kentucky, heading towards Ashland, where we'll cross back over the Ohio River into Ohio. On we go. Officially in Kentucky. Three states in a couple hours by bicycle. Kind of neat. Some flood wall mural. I've been saying Huntington needs some murals on the flood wall. I'm no artist, or rather, I don't have those kind of skills, so I can't do it. Someone should. I like them. Riding through Catlettsburg, enjoying the day. I'll tell you one thing. After riding the mountain bike for just a little while, I realized just how comfortable, just how comfortable this bike is. It is considerably nicer than sitting on the mountain bike. On we go.
I am back in Ohio. About just over 25 miles in. Wind has died down, which is unfortunate because if it was still blowing, it'd be at my back. It's the end of November. It's at the point in the year where it's dark by the time I get off work. So it's difficult to get any rides in throughout the week. So I started going to the gym or trying to go to the gym when I get off work and get in some cardio and some accessory work. I go to the gym in the morning before work and lift. Just trying to stay as active as I can through the winter. Seasonal, seasonal depression is no joke. Last year, I did my big bike ride in the beginning of September and it kind of beat me up. I didn't touch the bike. I didn't want to, didn't want to touch the bike after that for two months. And it was January before I decided I needed to get back on it. And it was cold, and riding in the cold sucks. So this year, I'm attempting to ride all year at some level. You know, the wind just picked back up and it's going, it's a headwind still. I went up one end of the river with a headwind, crossed the river, and now I'm headed back with a headwind. I don't even know how that happens. Anyways, appreciate everybody who reaches out and comments. I'm glad people are enjoying my work. What do y'all do during the winter time? I also watch YouTube videos, which is how I got into this, biking anyways. So who else do y'all watch? Riding through South Point, I tried to get the sign as I was coming in, but it was too much traffic. So I'm gonna get the sign on the way out the other side. Follow along, like and subscribe, say hello. On I go, on we go. That is about it for this little video. Not quite as exciting as my adventures normally, but if you're still watching, I appreciate it. Like and subscribe if you haven't. I don't know why you'd still be watching and not like and subscribe, but I don't know much. Anyways. Stick around, my next adventure should be a lot cooler. Should be heading to the Cranberry Wilderness. And if for some reason it snowed out and I can't, the Greenbrier River Trail. Something is coming.
Thanks for following along. Until next time. This is quality content 